Hello, welcome to my kitchen, you guys. I am so excited to have you here. Today is a really exciting fun day because yesterday we spent 4th of July with our family and I made homemade ice cream. And so I wanted to come and share with you my recipe for homemade ice cream, which, hello Kelly, hello Amber, how are you? You guys, welcome to my kitchen. So this is my recipe for homemade ice cream and I'm so excited to share it with you because we, it is a, it's a homemade ice cream with a twist. Hello Phyllis, hello Devin. So hi Tina, um, Brenda, Candy, hello you guys. Hi Sandra, you guys hang out with me. It's gonna be a quick one today. Hi Shay. I am making homemade ice cream and it is with a twist because it is my recipe and it is sugar free. Yes, I just uttered that sugar free with homemade ice cream in the same sentence. Like, can you seriously believe that? But we are trying to be, um, we're trying to do good, you guys. We're trying to eat sugar free, carb free. And so, yes, I just combined ice cream and sugar-free in the same sentence and it's gonna be amazing. So here is, I'm just gonna get right into it. Right here in this bowl, you guys, I have four bananas. I am going to smash up my bananas. I'm actually gonna put it right here. I'm gonna smash up my bananas. This is a Pioneer Woman smasher. It's a potato smasher and I'm going to put these bananas all smashed up. Let me see here. So let's see. Yes, I eat the ice cream and this ice cream is kind of guilt free and it's exciting. I'm actually seeing that I didn't set everything out here for it. Hi, Amy. Hi, Rhonda. You made it live. You guys, I'm smashing up <clears throat> four bananas right now. So this is very light but I decided to use the bananas in this ice cream, and I'll tell you why. Because we drink a protein shake every day for breakfast, and we use frozen bananas. And the bananas in our protein shake really give us a creamy texture. And so I wanted that creaminess from the bananas, but I wanted it to be sugar-free, so when I say sugar-free, I'm not adding sugar. Okay, but we all know that there are there is sugar in bananas, so we're getting a really good sweet flavor from the bananas. Plus, we're getting we're getting the banana sweetness. We're getting getting the banana creaminess. Hello, Misty. Hello, Candy. You guys, welcome to my kitchen. Right now, I am smashing up four bananas. And I'm going to add it into my homemade ice cream. So we are just, I hope I'm not being too noisy for you guys. Hello, Sergio. How are you? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sandra. Hi, April. You guys hang out with me. I am making homemade ice cream. Hi, Gina. And it's homemade ice cream with a twist. It's sugar-free, but I promise you. Yes, it's sugar-free, but it has an amazing flavor. It is so sweet and so rich. You're going to totally freak out. And April, yes, someone is going to win an ice cream maker from me and some Pioneer Woman bowls to put your ice cream in. So here we go. I'm done with smashing the bananas. Just like that. I'm going to set this in the sink. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move on to almond milk, okay? This is the almond milk that we use in our protein shakes every morning, so I'm gonna give it a good shake. I'm gonna scroll this up, giving it a good shake, and we are going to use, okay, Eddie's over there shaking his bum, because I'm gonna give it a good shake. Okay, I'm gonna use four cups of almond milk, Right here we go, look at that. Okay, almond milk, you guys, this is the sugar-free almond milk. It has 35 calories, and that's what we drink every day in our protein shake, so it's going in 
to the homemade ice cream. And that's four cups. So we have four, remember this, four bananas, four cups of almond milk. Now, I'm gonna go with some hay whipping cream and I haven't even checked the calories on this, okay? Like, holy moly. 45 calories for one tablespoon, you guys, but you can't make ice cream without heavy whipping cream. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I traded the regular milk for almond milk, so I won't feel so bad. I'm going with two cups, which is exactly what comes in this little, what is this? One pint of heavy whipping cream, okay? So right here, here goes the rich, Goodness, oh my gosh, yum. That's what I say, absolutely yum. Okay, so we've got that in here. Now, I'm gonna go with only, this is stevia. Okay, so I'm gonna do half a cup of stevia right here in this. And I'm going to do, <coughs> I literally just ate the stevia smoke or whatever. So yuck, don't do that. Don't breathe up the stevia smell. Okay, so it, I'm gonna put a dash of salt. This is just me dashing the salt, okay? Okay, the salt just dashed right into the ice cream. Okay, now I'm gonna go with some vanilla. So here goes the vanilla. Hi Angie, hi Leanne, hi Tawana. This is a, some splashes of vanilla, but really, like you can't get too much, I don't think, because vanilla is amazing. So we're just gonna kind of splash around in some vanilla. Okay, maybe a little more. Now, I'm just gonna stir this up, just like this. This is so fun and so easy, you guys, and so good. Hi, Angie, you will love this. So I am just stirring up. So we've got four mashed bananas, four cups of almond milk, two, one, sorry. What did I just do? Two cups of heavy whipping cream. You know what? I literally think that I'm trying to just, after I just read that there's 45 calories in a tablespoon, I think I'm trying to block it out. Hello, Hannah. So what kind of stevia? I just use Truvia right here is what I use just because we, uh, I sent Eddie to the store and that's what he came back with. Hi Tina, hi Ashley. Okay, so this is stirred up good enough. And you guys, when you comment and share this video, you go into a drawing to win an ice cream machine from me and some Pioneer Woman bowls. Oh, Ed's here to help me. Okay, so here's the ice cream machine right here. I'm gonna take, I've already, let me tell you what I've already done. I've already put ice, the, the, the ice cream salt, ice, salt, it ends with salt. So it's like layered, you layer your ice cream salt, which is right here, rock salt, right here. You layer ice, salt, ice and salt. So I've already done that part because I didn't want to bore you guys with the crazy little details. So I'm gonna pop this off right here and I am going to pour this mixture in. Let's make, let's just watch me do this and see if I can do it without splashing and making a mess. There we go, right in. I don't know if I'm doing such a hot job of it, but it's done. Okay. There we go. Okay, so here's what we do. We put the lid on, just like this. Let's see, Patty, do you have, do you have an ice cream maker attachment for the KitchenAid mixer? You know what? I don't, Leanne, because I don't even have a KitchenAid mixer. I have a Bosch mixer that, go, that, that I use, so I don't have that, and Yes, Amy, your kids would want ice cream all the time, and this really is good. It's good for you because it's bananas, almond milk, heavy whipping cream, and vanilla. That's it. Like, how much better can it be? We all know that there's lots of potassium and vitamins in bananas, so this is a great summertime treat. I'm going to scoot this over because this has to be plugged in. You guys, if you share this video and comment, 
you go in a drawing. Now this has to get lined up. This is the tricky part right here. You got to get this little thing lined up. Let's see. And I'm not doing such a good job. Let's see here. I have to get my thing. There we go. Okay, so now, if you comment and share this video, then you go in a drawing to win this ice cream maker from me, plus the Pioneer Woman Bowls right here. Of course, I've already made some ice cream. I want you guys to see it. This is so good, you guys. You have to have, you've got to go. Listen, this is not an expensive ice cream maker. So I just went and got this at Walmart. And it's amazing. Look at this ice cream right here. So, Ed, are you ready to try? I got an ice cream scoop, babe. Here's your spoon. Here's oh. mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is so creamy, you guys, and it literally takes like 20 minutes to make. So you have got to try this. Oh, yes, Rhonda. Rhonda said it'll be great for her. Look at that. Yum. Oh, you guys. It's so creamy. And I promise you, do you think two scoops are enough, Ed? Or do you want three? Oh, uh, give me three. Okay. I promise you that you will love this. And I think it's so fun for summertime because yesterday was 4th of July. This is what it literally takes. Jennifer, it takes like 25 minutes to freeze. So not very long. It's amazing. It, I, I, yesterday I made this and I put it in this very bowl and took it to my sister's house. And she, I mean, even there it scoops out easy. Everyone loved it. And I wanted to make sure that everyone besides just us, that everyone there loved it and everyone did love it. What are you thinking? It's the best. It's the best. Man, I'll tell you. It's so good. Okay. So you guys, Let's have fun this summer and go get yourself an ice cream machine if you don't have one. This is no big deal. It's not bad for you. It's really good for you, and you can do this too. It really tastes really good. I, I know. <laughs> I know. It really does. It honestly is amazing. So that's it, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Comment and share. Go in a drawing to win this ice cream maker and a set of Pioneer Woman bowls. You guys, I love these bowls. Of course, I love everything Pioneer Woman. You take that one and I'll take this one. <laughs> That's even, even swap, right? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you guys, I love it. I'm, I'm excited to see you next week. You guys join me next week. Hang out with me for a few minutes while I, because my goal is to help you make your home your favorite place to eat. Thank you guys. I love you. Me have a bite. Mmm. Ah! Amazing. It's so good. You guys have a great night. Bye.